Damn! The time is long, girl. You should be watching a movie. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you folks the products that I have been loving for the month of June. Now I know we're like halfway into July and I just didn't get time to film a monthly favorites for you folks and I just knew I just had to sit down and film for you folks because if not, we would have went to the end of the month of July and I still wouldn't have done a June favorites. But I guess I could have just made a July favorites. But whatever. I just knew I had to film a favorites video for you folks because there were so much products that I've loved that I've been loving for the month of July. Um, it was a really good month. But anyway, I have a ton of products for you folks. Um, if you are loving this look, I filmed it. I'll make sure to leave a link down below. Do you just love this like leather hat backwards realness? I'm feeling really like butchy queen. Yes, God, you better work. <laughs> I don't know, like. I wasn't really feeling my hair, but then they want to style it, and I felt like the hat forward just looked kind of weird, so I felt like backwards, just like giving me really like 80s, like band boy kind of feel, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, like, you know, with this eye, this cheetah, like, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, 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 if you want to see the products that I've been loving for the month of June, then just keep watching. Okay, I don't even know where to start because there's just like a ton of stuff just like everywhere. Everywhere. Hold on. Oh my god, I forgot a favorite. I want to first start off with primers. Two primers that I've been loving this month is going to be the Angel Veil. It's a skin perfecting primer. It's oil free. It's the primer that I'm using today like on my entire face. Like if you watch this tutorial, you'll see me using this primer. Like I am in love with this primer. This primer leaves my skin like... Look at my skin. My skin looks flawless. Like, I feel like I have, have, like, no imperfections. Like, what? What skin? Like, what? It just leaves your skin so amazing. And it's such a big bottle. Like, I think this is either 12 or $15, somewhere in that price range. But you get so much. So it comes out like a white liquid there. But it blends out to a clear finish. But... I don't know what's in this product, but like I said, it just leaves your skin, like, just flawless. Like, my face never looked this good before. Like, I'm just like, what? One of those things that, like, I kind of slept on because a lot of people have been using this for, like, a while now. And, like, they mentioned it in the past and how much they loved it. But I never, like, really jumped on the bandwagon to pick it up until recently when I did my NYX face of wars entry video that was the first time that i picked up this primer and ever since then i've just been loving it the second primer is going to be like an oldie but a goodie it's the benefit professional now okay so i think first i liked this one like when i first started getting into makeup i love this because they make my like in this area of my face, I have, like, huge, huge, huge pores. Like, you can go swimming in them. Swimming? Not swimming. I don't know what swimming was. I like to, like, make up my own words, as you can tell. Um, so this was, like, my holy, like, live, I cannot live without kind of primer. And I just would use it, like, in this T-zone area. And then Smashbox came out with a pore minimizing. And I got that one. And I was hooked on it for a while, but not... All of my makeup products could, like, could mesh well with it. Like, some foundations, some concealers, some, like, different products would just make it clumpy. Like, I would just get clumpy and um, my makeup just would not stick to my face. No matter, no matter how much layers I put on, like, the pore minimizer just would not work. But like I said, when you found the products that did work, it was really, really great. So then that became my new favorite. And... Makeup Forever came up with the step one, step one, I think it's called like smoothing or something, skin equalizers, the smoothing one, like that one took the cake, like it was like the combination of the, this and the Smashbox Pore Minimizer in one. And I just absolutely love that one. Like, I still do love that one, and I still do use it, but I, I just randomly used the Benefit Professional one day, and I was just like, why? 
why did I stop using you? Like, why? And I always wondered why, like, Patrick Starr would always use this primer in, like, videos on himself, videos on clients. Just, he would always, always, always use his primer. And I'm just like, don't you know of better products? Like, don't you know about the Makeup Forever Step 1 primer? Like, the Skin Smoother? Like, why are you still using the Benefit Professional? But then when I used it, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I don't see you pores, like, where you went, where you went, you went on vacation, okay, because you gone, you gone. And I'm using it today, like I said, in the tutorial, you'll see me using both of these primers. Just a combination of the two I have been loving this month, it's just perfection. Like, one just smooths out your skin, the other fills in the pores, and, oh, together, perfect combination. Then a foundation that I have been loving for the month is going to be the... Maybelline Fit Me, but in dewy and smooth. Now, I do have oily skin, okay? People always, like, question me when I say I have oily skin because of the fact that I love still dewy things. Like, I love dewy foundation. I love highlighters. I love liquid highlighters. Like, I like to moisturize. I like oils. Like, even if I have oily skin... I still like dewy products because I feel like dewiness of products and highlighting and highlighted products. Oh my god, look at that glow. Sorry, I got distracted by my own glow. Hey! Um, dewiness of products look completely different from like oils from your face. Like oil from your face looks like sweat. Dewiness of products just glisten. Just make you be like, Yes, I don't sweat, I go listen. And I just feel like dewy products just have been like amazing for me. So like even if you have oily skin, like don't be afraid. Like don't be afraid to try oily products. Don't be afraid to use highlighters. Don't be afraid to use liquid highlighters. Just don't be afraid to use oils and moisturizers. Like even though your skin is oily, like don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try new products and don't be afraid to put moisture back into your skin because sometimes your skin is oily because it's trying to produce oil. So because like you think, oh, my face is oily. I need to strip it from all the oils. No, like you can strip it from the oils, but you want to hydrate it, put hydration back. And I feel like that's what dewy makeup look. And I just feel like dewy foundations just look so smooth on your face because it's not like matte and like drying like dewy just it just uh, melts into your skin and it just gives you such like a healthy natural glow that skin should have so i've been loving these and i have two shades because i like to mix them and i have been really white lately like really white so um i just recently picked up these foundations and just been loving them because they're kind of the only foundations that match me because i'm so white like so white Ugh, that's okay that's okay i feel like being lighter it's so much easier to contour like anything is dark you know and it doesn't take as much product i feel like now too that i'm so light to contour because before when you're darker it's like i pretty much needed black to contour my face you know but now that i'm like light um it's just so much easier but i forgot to mention the shades so i have 130 buff beige and 235 pure beige i don't know why but i just feel like foundations with like beige in their name usually is like a really good color match for me and I know these are like off by like a hundred but I like to use a lighter shade like in the center of my face and the darkest shade like through the outer parts of my face and like I said these are the only foundations that like are matching to my skin okay a concealer that has like taken the cake this month and I may say it's even better like dare I say that it's better than Urban Decay like Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, this is like 10 and this is like 9.9. .9. I just feel like Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer just isn't full coverage. Like, I know some people who have this, they're like, whoa, that is like way too much full coverage. But for me, like, I like a thick heavy concealer like i don't care if it's going to crack like you can crack i just want you to be thick heavy because i like this area of my face to just look smooth and flawless you know 
So this is really good for lightweight. Like if you're looking for like a lightweight concealer, like these are your guys. I featured this in a favorite video before, but I'm just bringing it back. Not to say it's a favorite because this is the favorite. This is the star. But I'm trying to compare it to this because I know a lot of people talked about this. I know I talked about this. Um, I know a lot of people like are curious to try it, but it is kind of expensive. So that's why I'm kind of like comparing it to the two. This one is really good, I feel like, to highlight my face. Like, I'll go in with this concealer. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Just for, like, directly underneath my eye. And then I'll go with this one to kind of, like, highlight my face and my T-zone area. Because it is a lighter formula. Now, it does have coverage, though. So if you're looking for, like, a full coverage but lighter formula and thinner consistency, it's a lot more watery, like a thinner consistency, then definitely check out the Urban Decay Naked Skin. But girl, if you use anything like me and you want that thick cake and you want to like be like concealed for days or if you have like bad bags, um, definitely, definitely, definitely check out the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Now, it is pretty pricey, like I will admit it is pretty pricey, but it's worth every single penny it's in full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer anti-aging just sold me well full coverage sold me and then anti-aging sold me the only thing the only 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 thing that i cannot stand about this concealer is that it's waterproof waterproof makeup just scares the bejesus out of me like you're waterproof so how am i gonna get you off you know, like I know they make waterproof makeup removers, but just the thought of it being waterproof, it's like, are you still there? Are you still on my face? I don't know, you know? So that's the only thing, but I can look past it because it is such a amazing concealer. The thing I don't like about this concealer is that there's, I think only four shades or three shades. There's like light, medium, and dark, I think. Which actually isn't that bad because it makes it so much easier to pick a shade because I feel like when they do like 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.00001, it's like, really? Like, what's the difference between them, you know? Especially when it comes to concealers, like, you really don't need that much difference in shades, you know? So, I have the shade light. It's really, 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 really light, but you know me. You know me. I like a light. Okay, lip products that I've been loving this month are the Kylie Lip Liners. Like, I did a full video just dedicated to the Kylie Lip Products. Um, I'll make sure to leave that linked down below. Um, but the Lip Liners is what stood out the most, which is why I am mentioning them in this video. Um, on my lips today, I'm actually wearing Condi K. It's like on the outline on my lip. And then on top of that is Celebrity New by Jeffree Star, which is like the best liquid, liquid lipstick formula of life. Like I absolutely love his formulas. Um, I mentioned his liquid lipsticks in my last video and I got three new shades. I got like Andrag Andragony, 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 Celebrity Skin and Gemini. So I just recently got those. I have Celebrity Skin on my lip with this Stella lip liner. And then I topped it off with the Russian Roulette Buxom Full On Lip Cream. Just so I can have like a glossy lip. Glossy lip with this glossy face. And if you watch that video, you're like, damn, that thing is pigmented. Like, it's so pigmented. Um, You do get a lot of products, so I feel like it's going to last you a long time. And I'm so happy. I don't know if they're doing this with all of the shades, but I did see two different shades listed just as lip liners and just as liquid lipsticks. And I just, I'm dead. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I don't know. Okay. There were two happy moments in my life. When McDonald's decided to make breakfast all day and when Kylie decided to list, list these separately because when I got my first kit, I was just like, okay, the formula of the liquid lipsticks are not that great. Like if they're okay, they're just like, sure. Sure, they're a liquid lipstick. Okay, like what's so special? But these lip liners, I'm just like, what? Like the pigmentation is real and I'm not the type of person 
to like this type of lip liner. Like, I want a pencil. This, like, okay, I call this type of lip liners crayons, okay? And let me show you what I mean by pencil. Like, this, this is what I consider a pencil. Pencil, crayon. Pencil, crayon. So I am not the type of person to prefer a crayon lip liner over pencil. Like, I always prefer a pencil. I always prefer a pencil over a crayon just because it's more durable and I'm like rough with my lips and I can sharpen it and make it really, 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 really sharp so I can just like cut my cupid's bow, you know? So I'm just like all about crayons. So when I saw these, I was just like, eh, like they're not really for me. But then I tried them and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so hot. It's been getting so hot here and I can't do one Has it been hot yet? Has it been hot getting? Has it been getting hot where you folks are from? Like, please let me know in the comment section below because am I turning into a 50 year old woman and getting hot lashes? Like, I can Hey, so the palette has been causing so much controversies. Well, Jeffree Star has been causing a lot of controversies. I've been seeing so much videos made about him, about his line lately. I'm not even going to get into it. And this palette's not even a favorite. It's kind of like an unfavorite, but also a favorite. And yes, we have an unfavorite for this month. Um, Anyway, why I'm showing you this palette is because of this shade right here. What are you called? Courtney. The shade Courtney is perfect. Shun. Like, I don't know if anyone darker than me can really wear this shade, but for me and, like, my skin tone and anyone lighter, you can totally just pop this in the outer corner of your eye, toss it in your crease, and be done. Um, the tutorial on this look, that's kind of what I did as my transition shade. Um, it is perfection. Like, it is everything. Like, I want 5 million of these, and there are days that I'm just gonna pop this in my crease, pop this in the outer V, and be done. Mm. This pink here, Star Power, is really, really great. China White is great and Vanity. Um, expensive, Rich Bitch, and Black Rainbow. They're like glitter shades and they completely suck. Like, it's not pigmented. You need to go in there like three or four times. Like, his swatches of this palette don't compare to the swatches on top of, like, me. Like, when I'm trying to use it, like... I'm just done with the glitter shades. Like, I can't even get them to work. I don't know why. I just can't. His shimmer shades, which are Princess, Violence, and Confession. They're okay. Like, they're okay. They're nothing great. I was hoping this shade were gonna was just going to change my life, but it doesn't. The formula doesn't. It's just... Okay. Um, especially for the price of this, you know, like the price of this palette, I think was like 40 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks. Then with shipping comes up to like 50 or 60 bucks. So it's like, you know, you expect a lot out of it. But this Courtney shade, oh my god. Like if you were thinking about this palette, like I highly recommend it for this shade. Because the shade is literally life. When you see it inside this tutorial that I have, that I'm wearing, I'm going sure to leave a link down below. Okay, um, I'm gonna go into some sunglass favorites before we dive into a really, really random favorite. Then after the random favorite, we're gonna dive into some unfavorite. Well, what unfavorite? And it's not really an unfavorite because it does what it needs to do, but it's just kind of like pointless to me. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't, don't get it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me, like, why I would need this extra product kind of thing. Anyway, we'll dive in more into that, like, when we get to the unfavorite. So, let's dive into sunglasses now. I sold my soul so I could buy me Key sunglasses. Now, I could not get my hands on Desi's collaboration with Key, which I ain't mad at. And I ain't mad about the shade one either because they're not my style. Like, they're not, like, that aviator style is not really, like, meant for my face. But what I did get was some glasses that I absolutely love. So the first one is going to be this one here. I'm kind of angling it because, like, I don't want to blind you folks. But it's like a tortoise shell print. And then there's, like, blue... What is this called? Lens? Blue lens? I love it. And it's so oversized. Like, what? Can we just... Can we just, like, I'm dying. Like, I'm totally just gagging right now from this beauty, this perfection. It is literally everything. The second one is, like, my favorite out of the two because I feel like I'm going to get more use out of it. It's more, like, neutral and basic. And I just feel like this shape of glasses 
totally, totally just like fit my face. And I definitely want more from them, but I'm just like, oh, I don't have another soul to sell. Like I already sold one soul to get two. How am I supposed to sell another soul? Do I have nine lives? Am I a cat? Um, so it's gonna be this one's here. They're pretty much a, kind of the same style. And then it has like gray frames. Super cute. Like, hey, what, you gotta work, 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 work. Like, I just like this style more than aviators. Like, aviators and me just don't, we just don't get along. Like, I don't know why. Is it my shape of my face? Is my face too round? Like, come on, aviators, work with me. Don't want to sell your soul and you want cute sunglasses, there's a site called Zero UV who sells oversized sunglasses that are still super cute and really, really, really affordable. I think they run between $10 to $15, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the style. But I have three styles that I have been loving. That's two are kind of aviators and one is like completely random but makes me feel like a Kardashian. Because if you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, then you will know why. Because on a recent trip they took, Kim was wearing a similar style. Anyway, so this is the first pair this is one of the ones that I said that like looks like aviators like okay yes the next one are gonna be these circle glasses here like okay grandpa okay grandpa Jakey come through um again not my like most fave sunglasses, but I feel like a lot of people like this style, so I thought I'd mention it. I did order them, but you see the tag still here because, like, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I bought it, so I feel like I need to make use of it. And like I said, I really want to show it because I feel like a lot of people are looking for this type of style and they want it to be really affordable. The last one is the one that makes me feel like a Kardashian, and it's not for a lot of people, and people might think I'm weird for getting it, but Bam! Okay, let's go skating! Yes! Like, can we just... But they had options, so go check out their site. I'll make sure to leave the site down below because, like I said, it's really, really, really affordable. I just ordered, like, nine or ten pairs. Like, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you would have seen that. Um, and if you don't, then you better follow me. I'll make sure to leave that link down below. Damn! The time is long, girl. You should be watching a movie. Um, okay, the last favorite is going to be a label maker. Now, I just recently got the Chloe... Chloe Kardashian app and she has a section called Chloe CD K H L O C D um where she shows like how she organized things and everything in her house is like labeled like labeled and in containers and they have a spot and she has a spot for every single thing and it just really inspired me to like want to be organized and want to like label the world oh I just got this for like 20 bucks from office max and the 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 the, 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 the label is like more expensive than the the label maker because the labels are like 26 bucks but I'm going to get them from Amazon hopefully they have them the one that I need but I'm just like yes like I need this like where have you been all my life my mother has one and she used to like label all my school supplies like every single pencil every single pen she would write my name on using this and I don't know why I never got one like I'm super organized and super OCD and I never got one until recently I like it. Okay, one more favorite. Sorry, totally forgot about this. I never had an electric toothbrush before. Like, I always had a manual brush, but my dentist said that I need to switch over to a electric, electronic, electric, electric? electric toothbrush because my gums are receding and I know that's like I'm getting like too detailed but my gums have been receding and they're saying that I'm brushing too hard so they said to get an electronic toothbrush because it's gonna help so I did and it was weird at first like it's really really weird because like it vibrates your whole entire mouth and then your lip is vibrating and then even after you're done brushing you feel like your lips are still vibrating and I feel like I'm talking really really fast but after you're done brushing your teeth feel so clean like you just left the dentist I was just like what? So if you don't have an electronic toothbrush, then you need an electronic toothbrush. You heard?
And I feel like I might have mentioned this in a video as a favorite, or I might have mentioned it in a video in the past, but the more I use it, the more I begin to not like it and un try to understand why I need it. Like, I try to justify five different nude lipsticks in my head because they're not the same color, but I can't justify why I would use this. Why I would take the extra step to apply this when it's not doing nothing, okay? And that is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Now, I watched a few different YouTubers here try this, like friends of my YouTuber, like friends of mine that are YouTubers try it and they constantly use it. First of all, let me tell you what. It comes with an applicator. I wish I had it. I tossed it. And that's another thing. It's so tiny. It's like literally this big. The brush part itself is like this big like it's super 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 tiny like whose eye are you applying that on whose under eye are you applying that on a doll a barbie doll no like that does not work for me because it's going to take three million years for me to apply that underneath my eyeballs like it literally looked like this but flat and smaller like without this edge here and smaller like whose eye am i gonna really like sit there and like apply this no Second, what does it do? Like, it's not doing nothing for my under eye. So as you can see, like, the opening of it is so tiny, so I can't stick a brush in it. So I decided to go with, like, you know, the white sponges like this? So one day, I just went like this, and, like, applied it underneath my eye, and was like, okay. Like, it made it easier to apply, so I got that figured out. But then when I dusted it away, it didn't do anything special. Like, it's so high-definition under eye setting powder. It says that it's... I don't know. Like, it, to me, it just feels like a regular setting powder. Like, I'd rather just go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder or my Maybelline Master Fix. I feel like they just make me look flawless. They make me look, like, airbrushed. I don't know what this does. Like, if you have this and this works for you and this is, like, a holy grail for you, please tell me how you're applying it. Please tell me where you're applying it because at first I just tried to do it directly underneath my eye because the little brush, that's all I could really do before, like, getting over it. Because, like I said, the brush is so tiny that, like, I had to go, like, one, two, you know, like, I had to keep dipping in. And then when I did the sponge, I could do my whole under eye area, but then I was, like, it wasn't, like, anything amazing going to be my favorites and unfavorites for the month of June. Um, please let me know favorites that you have been loving, products that you have been loving, or products that you have not been loving down in the comment section. I'm always trying to look for new products to try out and test out and use, even though I have so much products and I really need to just like pump my brakes and just use it. And I keep forgetting that I only have one face. You know, in my mind, I feel like I have like 50 faces, 50 cheekbones to contour and highlight, and like a million lips to like use all my nude lipsticks on but it's okay it's okay it's okay but yeah if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up click subscribe stick around for more videos and until next time bye counting how many times i said like like i can't even do i can't do it myself i like a like i like a like i like a like let, let, um, oh, 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 I dropped it. What? Did I mess up my makeup? What would you do if you saw me, like, driving, and we pulled up next to you, and I was just like, huh, with the sunglasses? Would you judge? Would you judge? I don't know.